Hello YouTube, this is a Creative Duelist here and I'll be making decks creative since 2016. Welcome. Did I have um, a Prediction Prince Escher Doll deck profile to showcase to you folks? I played this with a mate of mine, had a lot of fun with this, it's so trolly, it's so disgusting. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go over my card choices and all that good stuff. So for the monsters, of course, I play the uh, the triple prediction princess uh, tower away. This is the only ritual monster I play. Um, when it's ritual summoned during the end phase, you bring back a flip monster from the grave, very powerful. And of course, it has two bullet points of effects where you can book of moon something or flip it face up, which is very powerful. There's one card it works really well with, and I'll get to that card in a sec. Next, I play Triple uh, Prediction Princess Coin Bitch. She basically just helps to bring out the level three or lower flip monsters, so you can bring back, so you can bring out a, a Shadol uh, Hedgehog or Falco, really powerful, and of course for what the situation calls for. And of course for the odds and ends, I play the Triple Spirit of the Four Wind. This card is very important. You must play this card. I wouldn't play any less. You need to see your flip uh, monsters, otherwise the deck is going to just be slow and bricky. <laughs> And of course, the potent card which works with um, the ritual monster. I play double uh, Pot of Forbidden. This card is so disgusting. It has all the ban effects on here. Um, really good. It's such a powerful utility card as well. And it's really good to search out, search off the spirit of the uh, Four Wind. So that's going to round up uh, the whole odds and ends bit. And of course, Prediction Princess monsters. So let's get on with my Shadow lineup. I uh, play Triple Squamata, Standard, a Triple Hedgehog to grab the Shadow Fusion, it's very important. Double Beast, Double Falco for Recursion, of course the One Dragon uh, to get rid of pesky floodgates and stuff. So that's going to round up the go monster line about the spells. For the spells, of course, I play the Triple Ritual Sanctuary, or in other words, Las Vegas, of course. Uh, <laughs> big shout out to my boy, um, Three Stacks, of course. Again, it's just search. It's just to get uh, the prediction princess ritual monster to your hand, and of course the ritual spell, uh, if need be. And of course, speak of the devil. I play the triple prediction ritual. Such a such a good card. Um, to be honest, I wish uh, we had construct because construct worked really well with prediction princess. It was such a disgusting combo that I like to play in that deck. Next off. Uh, triple pre-preparation of rights really good card again you need to see your prediction princess stuff otherwise the deck just doesn't work uh, double shadow fusion i have my third copy here but i have no room currently so uh, if you folks want to make room you can go ahead and slap another fusion and of course i do play the al shadow fusion for reaction for for, re for reactive purposes so if they try to nuke my fuel i can just go al shadow uh, fusion and then just bring out something else, which is really nice. So anyway, continuing on with my two ofs, two secrets, two knowledge, one terraforming, and that's going to round up my spell lineup. And of course, uh, the core, and of course the sinister shadow games. Really good card. So that's going to round up the main deck. For my extra deck, I play of course the one Mrs. Radiant. It is possible to make with the coin, bitch, and of course. Um, uh, pot of forbidden after you use its potent effect and of course the one should all construct um it's pretty cheesy it's okay it comes in handy at times one poor regard dragon and of course the um behemoth fiendus really good that's going to round up my links for my xyz's i do play a small xyz lineup pretty standard diamond dire um baguska and of course the silent honor arc synchros i'm kind of uh, working with my synchros, I've got one Leo, one, one Scarlight, uh, one Stardust Charge Warrior, and F Day Dragster. Kind of just messing around with my synchros. I don't know what to play because I don't always go into my synchros with Falco. So the lineup is up to you. You can play more synchros, you can play less. It's up to personal preference. And of course, what you know, what we came for. Uh, the double Sheki Naga for the fusions, and of course the double Winder. You can play three Winder, you know, Winder's just such a good card, it's so, you know, it's so stunning. So yes, that's going to round up the whole main deck, extra deck, 
So, no, thank you all for watching. If you folks enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment down below. Feedback is always nice to hear. Tell me your comments down below. You know, any cards, any suggestions. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So, yes, this is the Creative Duelist signing off. And I shall see you folks in my next video. Take care, stay creative, and subscribe for further content.